Hey all, short and sweet, what we're going to do is use the Resolve 360 XL plugin in DaVinci Resolve Studio version 17 to basically approximate what the amazing Fusion Studio used to do with uh, GoPro videos, 360 videos. Um, as you know, the, the current GoPro player will uh, not allow you to um, reframe, pan, zoom, skew, yaw, pitch, etc. Um, on your exports, and so everything is awful. Um, so what I've done here is um, I've booted up DaVinci Resolve Studio, and I already have the plugin installed, which is uh, on the tutorial for the Resolve 360 XL plugin GitHub page, so I won't go through that. Um, but here, I will show you how to do this. So um, I've already created a couple of videos. I, I tried it with the world lock enabled and without world lock enabled. And for the type of videos that I like to do where I'm, I'm looking out the front of a car or a motorcycle, uh, I'm going to do no world lock. And that just means that as the camera turns, my, my head is automatically going to turn with it. Therefore, I can, using a, an Oculus Quest or something, enjoy the video while sitting down and I don't have to turn my body in order to follow the video. Um, if you do like the videos where the camera's moving around you all over the place, um, use world lock. So we're gonna do no world lock. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into my media pool and uh, on the cut page real quick, I'm gonna drag that into my timeline, the whole thing. We're not worried about cutting. You can see here that we have the whole video. You can see out the front of the car, and then there's going to be a line going down the back. Um, we're not too worried about that. But so what we want to do is um, go over here to where we have our plugins, OpenFX plugins. Uh, you can see that we have the Re Reframe 360 plugin. And inside of that plugin, we have this specific effect, which is called the 360 XL effect. Um, we're going to go ahead and just drag that onto the video. Now you can see that it transformed the video, and I'm looking out the side of my car. Interestingly enough, this is the angle that I had chosen when I exported it with the GoPro player. And for whatever reason, it's stuck here. So this thing must be reading metadata. Anyway, I want my video to look out the front, so I'm going to yaw it over a little bit. You can see my rotation is kind of wacky, so I'm going to roll it just a little bit. And what's really cool is you can do this while it's playing too. So here we go. Uh, maybe I mount my camera upside down, maybe not. But um, And you can see that due to not having world lock checked, um, it's following the front of the car as I go through this. Anyway, uh, from there it's pretty easy. Just cut and render your video however you want and uh, you should be able to use this effect on each individual clip if you want to look out like the side for one clip versus um, the front out of a different clip, etc. So there you go. Um, this video is kind of boring, I apologize, but this is what you used to be able to do in Fusion Studio. It was amazing, and now you can do it with a free plugin that works in an excellent editor like DaVinci Resolve Studio. So thank you very much.